Everyone put your man car away for a second, okay? It's okay. It's really okay. All right, well, we're back. It literally looks like I have a wig on. This is bedhead these days. I don't sleep with a bonnet or a silk scarf or anything. I just I fucking wake up and I start my day with a shower every morning. So last weekend, I was the best man in my best friend's wedding, which I mean, someone trusting me to be the best man, give a best man speech, do all that. Wow, what a guy. What a fucking guy. Either way, everything went surprisingly well. This was this was a fancy ass wedding, okay? And normally for events like that, I will slick my hair or do like a messy slick, which I've made a video about before. If you haven't seen it, I think it's here or here, I don't fucking know. One of these places. <laughs> these people are my friends who knew me when I was doing buzz cuts and chemically straightening my hair. So for me to go to this wedding with all these people that I grew up with, who are not used to seeing me like this, just being like, what's up, bitch? And I felt like, you know what, this was the perfect opportunity for me to just be like, I'm just going, I'm going for it. Guys, I gotta say, the response I got was in fucking incredible. So many people came up to me and were like, I love your hair. Holy shit, I love your hair. But I gotta say, it felt pretty fucking good. And I think it also like vindicated everything that we've been doing on this channel for a while because it was a black tie event and I just did my hair slightly different than I normally do every day. It's been a little over a year now since that first video took off and this is half the reason that y'all are here anyway. So in this video, we're gonna go over basically what I did last weekend for the wedding. Overall, I was dancing. I was having a good fucking time, and the hair looked great the whole night. So I'm gonna go over what I did. I used four products, and then there's a little technique that goes with it. But it's super fucking easy, and honestly, it's been working every time for me. Every time I do it like this, my hair just looks fucking immaculate. Fuck it, okay, so let's get into it. So as you guys know, I like to shower every morning. All right, so first things first. When you get out of the shower, your hair should be like this. You don't wanna slick your hair in the shower because it'll fuck everything up. Don't slick your hair in the shower. That's what we should be doing. Shaking your head is your friend here. Like you're a fucking wet ass poodle. Okay. Okay. If this, if this is the first curly hair video you've seen of mine, you need to go, you have a whole fucking library to watch. But you just wanna get some, some of the moisture out. Definitely don't wanna I think us as men, we're so we're so conditioned to just be like, fuck it. First of all, remember, there. Shirt on first. Fuck. And also, what is that back there? That is my fiance's. It's a shower cap and some exfoliating mitts. I just I just want to point. I would just like to point that out. There's really only four steps. We start off with this. Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Styling Enhancing Foam some shit. It's good though. Now this is basically a mousse. So this shit a little bit goes a long way. This may have been too much. We do exactly what you do and you just, you wanna get everything, like really coat the shit out of your hair with this stuff. Don't be afraid, like get in there. Like get in there, you're good, you're good, don't worry. It'll curl, just stick with me. All right, the sides are good, the back, like don't neglect anything. Make sure that your hair is like coated with this stuff, all right? Okay, now we go in with Old Faithful, the magic product, my best friend, Harry. It's texturizing putty, it's basically a pomade. Uh, it looks like this. I use about this much, put in. Okay, so what your pomade's doing here is it's gonna lock in the styling foam we just put in our hair. It's like it's gonna like seal it in, which is good. You want that. So you go in and you do the same, same thing. Don't be afraid. Get in there. Listen, everyone put your man car away for a second, okay? It's okay. It's really okay while you're using the diffuser. I'm doing this. I do it on the coolest setting. Don't use hot air. Don't use higher. It'll damage the shit out of your head. And like, we don't need that. This also, this doesn't take as long as you may think. It takes like five minutes. Okay. First of all, let's give our head a good shake. We're always gonna go back to the head shake. It's very important. Sometimes I like to get it out of my face when I'm going somewhere nice, you know? 
For example, the wedding last weekend, I knew I was gonna take 150,000 photos. I wanted my face to be in the photos. I use this Bumble, Bumble and Bumble, uh, Val, what, what is it? Preta powder? I don't fucking know. Preta, Preta powder? I don't know. I, I'll link it below, but it's basically, it's basically just, just a powder. It looks like fucking baby powder, but basically, oh, that's not a funny joke. That's, well, it basically, normally, if your hair is really oily, you can use this stuff and it'll, it'll take the oil out of your hair. Ah! Okay, and then I go just in the front, and I go like this. Now. Stick with me. So when I part my hair, I go from my eye up. And then I just, I put the volumizing powder in, and I go like that. Now let's finish. Okay, this is a little too stiff for me. Give her had a good shake. Things are already getting better, as you can see. So now, I go back in with a little bit more of this. After you're done fully drying your hair, you don't wanna use too much of this. We just wanna go in and break this shit up a little bit. This looks pretty damn good. All right, there we go. I feel good about that. And we're done. It's out of my face. Let's say you're at a wedding. You wanna dance. Right? Okay, now look. You stop jumping, do a little. You're welcome. For the record, if you just, if you wanna keep it out of your face, you just. That's it. Let this be a reminder to you that with great hair, comes great responsibility. Don't fuck this up. You have all the tools. Just need a little patience. All right. Subscribe. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Godspeed.